Good evening, Youth Opportunity Academy, class of 2020, graduates, families, and friends. The day that each of you have been anxiously anticipating has finally arrived. The road you have traveled to arrive at this moment has been interesting to say the least. The road was not straight, nor was it smooth. It's, it has been presented each of you with many, many challenges. In many ways, the road that the members of the class of 2020 have navigated reminds many people of the roads that life ahead of you will present. It lies in the beauty that you see. The importance of this moment cannot be reduced, discounted, or diminished. The world as we thought we knew it has dramatically changed and may be forever changed. A previously unheard of virus suddenly emerged and forced each of us to change almost every aspect of our life. Terms like social distancing, virtual learning platforms, and contract tracing have entered our lexicon. Each of you had the chance to quit, stop, or simply give up, but you didn't. Your dedication to yourselves and your families was and is greater than any obstacles that have been thrown at you. And watching each of you and your dedication to a goal, it has been a truly a blessing for me. This year, each of you did something that you probably didn't realize. You taught every member of the Youth Opportunity Academy team, Ms. C, Ms. Nana, Ms. Murchison, Ms. Paler, Dr. Terry, Mr. Capri, Mr. Toppin, and myself, how to find strength and courage in the face of significant challenges. I want to thank my team for their dedication to each of you, and I also want to thank you for your dedication to us. I want to use this opportunity to share some wisdom and insight with each of you. Here are the things that I think every graduate and their family and friends should try to remember and use as a roadmap moving forward. One, everything that is important lies in front of you and will determine the person that you become. Every choice that you make will have an impact on your future. Think first, do second. Three, listen to the advice that wise, experienced people give you. They've already been there. Four, life is a series of challenges and opportunities. Lean into the discomfort. Five, accumulate more memories than stuff. Memories always last longer. Six, don't settle for a life that is less than what you are capable of living. Seven, always try to give more than you take. Eight, learn to love yourself. Congratulations to every member of the class of 2020 of the Youth Opportunity Academy. We love you. Good morning to the Youth Opportunity staff, students, and families. I want to thank, first of all, the principal, Mr. Adams, for inviting me to share in your virtual graduation ceremony by allowing me to just say a few words to congratulate the students here. I want to thank the staff again for your continued efforts for making the transition to online uh, and supporting the students at Youth Opportunity Academy. I wanna thank the families uh, for your continued support and entrusting your young people to us in these challenging times. Thank you again for allowing us to have the opportunity to teach and connect with so many amazing young people. Thank you, families, for all of your support. And then to the class of 2020. I wanna thank you for finishing strong. I wanna thank you for not giving up. You fulfill your goals by earning, one of your goals by earning your diploma through the midst of a pandemic while coping with many other challenges. I would like to say to you that no matter what. Hello, I'm Mr. Leak from Youth Opportunity Academy. I want to congratulate all the 2020 graduates. Your time has come. You guys did it. You faced a lot of adversity 
and I want to wish you well in all your future endeavors. I definitely want to give a big shout out to Integrity Robinson. It's been a long road and you did it. Your time has come. You have accomplished something no one can take away from you. I want to give a big congratulations to you as being a graduate from Youth, Oppor Youth Opportunity Academy and I wish you well in all you do. Hey, Lachelle, congratulations. This is Miss Murchison. I wanted to say, uh, send a very happy congratulations to you on doing so well at the end of the school year, completing your APEX, completing all your classwork, getting it together, working so hard so that you could graduate in June. I know it's been a struggle. I've been there seeing you through since Casa days, so you know that this means a lot for me. I'm so very proud of you. I, I You just can't imagine how full my heart is for you because you are one of my favorites and from CASA and now to Youth Opportunities. And I just want to say a very happy congratulations to you. Make this everything that you need it to be. Congratulations, Miss Alexander, on graduating from high school. You still have a long way to go and a lot to achieve. Never lose hope and never doubt your hard work because you have the potential to do great things and make valuable contributions to your community and the wider society. I have been with you throughout your years at Youth Opportunity Academy and I have kept my promise to encourage you until the end, no matter how difficult the journey may be. We were in this together. Dreams come true if you work hard for them in the end, and you have done just that. Your graduation is the most beautiful dream that has come to reality. You have the ability to make even the most impossible things possible with dedication and commitment. On completing your graduation, I extend my warm wishes to you and your family. Best of luck in the future. Congratulations, Ms. Alexander. Graduates of 2020, it has been a marvelous journey to see you grow both academically and socially as you sat in class, walked through the hallways, and participated in many events this school year. I am so proud of you, your perseverance, your determination. It's enlightening to be in your presence, and I am grateful to be able to share that experience with you. And I wish you all the best. Congratulations, Jerome. I'm so proud of you. I have watched you work so hard to achieve your academic goals and you were successful. Your diligence, your perseverance and your determination to do everything that was asked of you and you did it. So humbly, and quietly. Congratulations, and I wish you the best in your future endeavors. Congratulations, Charisma. You are a shining star. I have admired you from afar, and I've had the opportunity to engage with you up close. You're an advocate for many, and I have watched and observed you, your perseverance, and your dedication, not only to your education, but to support your peers in achieving their goals as well. I wish you all the best in your journey. And please stay in touch. Let us know what you're doing because I know you are destined for great things. Congratulations. I'm just coming to say congratulations to you. You've done a wonderful job. There were times when you doubted yourself. There were times when you didn't think you could do it. There were times when you didn't think it was going to really happen, but it has happened. And as I shared with you earlier, it's not how long you run the race, but that you make it to the finish line. And you have made it to the finish line. You have done what you needed to do. And I'm so proud of you. And as you shared with me, you're proud of yourself, as you should be. You've done a good job. And I say that with much adoration, much pride, because I am proud and I'm just so happy and joyful that you have made it to the finish line. I knew that you could. I knew that you would. Congratulations.
Hello, my name is Ms. Cannon and I work for the Mayor's Office of Employment Development where I serve as a career navigator at Youth Opportunity Academy. During my time in working with the youth at Youth Opportunity Academy, I have been afforded a great pleasure to work with Keandre Fellows. Keandre Fellows was one of my interns who um, completed the internship program at University of Maryland Medical Center. During his time working as an intern at University of Maryland Medical Center, I was able to see all of the leadership qualities that he exemplified. Keandre is not also um, just a leader. He is a young entrepreneur and he owns and operates his own pastry business. I am extremely proud of Keandre and I take this moment to say to you, um, push forward. Continue to do everything that you set out to do. We have had a lot of discussions about his career choices and his career path immediately following graduation. So it does me a great pleasure to know that you have your mind on straight and you're focused. And not only are you focused, you're confident and you're determined. In the words of Eleanor Roosevelt, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Not only are you a beautiful soul, Keandre, you have beautiful dreams and you have amazing aspirations. So I look forward to seeing all the great things that you aspire to do. I look forward to seeing the role model that you aspire to become. And if you ever need me for anything, any moral support, please feel free to reach out to us and come back and see us at the Academy. Congratulations, Keandre. I believed in you. I've always believed in you. And I know that you could do it. Thank you. Bye-bye. This message is for Jaden. First, I'd like you to know that I'm honored to have been your teacher. You personally helped me getting wiser while I was trying to expand your knowledge. This is the end of high school, but the beginning of your journey. As you already know, I'll still be around to help you out. Seeing and helping someone like you reach your goals and your interest is uh, the greatest satisfaction. I have no doubt you're going to be a success story that will inspire others. Congratulations and good luck. If you need anything, hit me up. All right, cool. Caps off to you, DeAndre Cooper. Congratulations, well done. You came a long way. What impressive achievement. Best wishes to you on your next adventure. Yes, I'm so very, very proud of you. You did it, Koopa. Yay! James Robinson, Baltimore City Public School System, Class of 2020 graduate. Those words sound so incredible for me to say. James, I wanted to record this message to make sure that you and your family know how extremely proud I am of you. To think that we've known each other since you were in the third grade, and I've seen you turn into a very driven young man who has lots of goals and ambitions that I'm sure are gonna help you move forward in life. You shared with me your plans to become an entrepreneur, and I'm 100% confident that you probably are gonna turn into the next Bill Gates or Jeff Bezos probably put Amazon out of business. I want you to know again, I'm extremely proud of you and I'm blessed to have had you in my life. Move forward, be successful. Thank you. Hello, Tasho. This is Mr. Adams. As I sit here today, preparing to record graduation videos for students, I wanted to make certain that you received a special message from me congratulating you on your achievement. When we met in September 2019, we made an immediate impression upon me. A young lady who had goals, who was driven, and had the ability to accomplish many things. You reached the first goal, which is graduation from high school, and we're all extremely proud of you. But we need you to make certain that you keep pushing. You are gonna graduate from college, you are gonna become a successful writer, your novels will be turned into movies for the world to see. I think it's very important that you understand you have a story to tell that needs to be heard. And again, 
I'm extremely proud of you. Congratulations. Hi, Daquan. It's Miss Nana. I just wanted to say congratulations. You've only been with us at Youth Opportunity for a short period of time. However, you've done it. You came, you did what you had to do, and I am so proud of you. You showed us that you are a very hardworking and determined young man, and I know great things are in the future for you. Stay in touch with us. Don't be a stranger. We really want to know what you're up to. And if you have any questions or concerns, never hesitate to reach out to me. Congratulations. Salika, this is Miss Nana, and I am so happy to make this video. I feel like a proud aunt. You and I have been through so much these past two years, but guess what? You did it, and I couldn't be more proud. I know your mom and your family is so proud of you, and I know that you'll be a great businesswoman in the future. Stay in touch. Make sure you reach out if you have any questions or concerns, but I am so proud of you. The class of 2020 graduates from the Youth Opportunity Academy. Avion Alexander, DeAndre Cooper, Charisma Fisher, Jadam Gallman, Tyrese Jackson, Jerome Keaton, Tyshell Knox, James Robinson, Keandre Fellows, Daquan Guy, Lachelle Thomas, Zylika Jones, Antiquity Robinson. In recognition of the records and achievements of the students of this class, and by virtue of the authority vested in me, as principal of the Youth Opportunity Academy, I certify that these students have met the graduation requirements of both the Baltimore City Public Schools and the Maryland State Department of Education. I take immense pleasure in recommending to you the graduating class of 2020. Acknowledging the certification and the recommendation by the principal, and by the authority vested in me as Director of Executive Strategy and Operations to the Chief Executive Officer, I take great pleasure in presenting to you the graduating class of 2020 for the conferring of diplomas. Congratulations to the students and families of Youth Opportunity. Students in the midst of a pandemic and racial tension, I would like to leave you with this quote. You are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and loved more than you know. Now the part that you've been waiting for, in recognition of the certification of these graduates, the recommendation of Principal Federico Adams, and the acknowledgement of the special assistant to the chief academic officer, and by virtue of the authority vested in me as instructional leadership executive director of the Baltimore City Public Schools, I take pleasure in accepting the graduating class of 2020 for the conferring of high school diplomas.